I was sleeping and I heard a bunch of gunshots going off. So I looked outside my window and there was a cop there shooting. So I was like, okay, this ain't normal. I went around to my back window and I saw three bodies laying there. And I was like, okay, this is not good. So I, uh, I just didn't know what to think anyway. I heard the big vehicle pull up and pull up and he was trying, they were trying to bring one of their own in to bring him to safety. But he was too heavy so I went out and tried to help them and then Buddy started shooting again so we had to get back in the vehicle and evacuate. Four people have been shot to death in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Two of the victims are police officers and a suspect is now in police custody. They are being treated for serious injuries. The shooting happened in a residential neighborhood in the city's north side. Residents in the area were told to get inside and lock their doors this morning. I walked out to walk my dogs and uh, the golf course, uh, which is a community I live in, um, the superintendent came up to me and said there's been a shooting and you should go inside and lock your doors. The event happened at a, at a housing complex on Brookside Drive, approximately 200 meters if or less from where I'm sitting. Everybody obviously, you know, who live in the neighborhood here are very shocked at the event. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is tweeting about this morning's shooting, saying his heart goes out to everyone affected and that his office is following the situation closely. And the Premier of New Brunswick, Brian Gallant, tweeting, on behalf of all New Brunswickers, I offer my condolences, thoughts and prayers to the victims and their families during this difficult time. Our thoughts are also with the courageous women and men on the front lines working to keep us safe. Fredericton, the province's capital, is almost 200 kilometers away from Moncton. That's where four years ago, 24-year-old Justin Bork shot five RCMP officers, killing three and injuring two. Bork pleaded guilty to murder and received five life sentences.